All right, guys, welcome back to The Daily Mastermind. George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I'm glad to be back with you here today. I had some travel yesterday back in sunny Arizona, down at our, uh, our men's clinic down there, and doing some work from my condo. And I tell you what, man, it is, um, it, is, it is really good to be here. It's really good to be able to spend time with you, and I appreciate you supporting the show. For those of you that are first time listening, make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. And I'm going to be releasing a couple of new things here over the next week. We've done a series and a big round of interviews. And uh, man, I think from a business standpoint, a money standpoint, a mind and a body, you're going to get a lot of new content. I am really excited about the stuff that we're going to do. But today I want to talk to you about how impossible goals will help you to 10x your life. How impossible goals will help you to 10x your life. So I want to start out by just saying this. I want to ask you a question. Are you happy where you are? Are you happy with the results that you're getting in your life right now? Are you happy with the direction that your life is going? And if not, why not? And I ask you this, maybe sort of uh, obvious, but I want you to ask yourself why you're not. What's holding you back? What is it that you're not doing or what is it that you could do differently? What is it that's holding you as far as obstacles? And today I wanna share some concepts with you um, where one in particular um, that I want to really emphasize, emphasize on how you can approach something in your life differently and how the approach you might be taking isn't working. So I'm going to share this, this strategy with you that literally will reshape your process and the results that you're getting in your life. And it's something that I've applied personally in my life. And, um, and it talks about, and it's really all centered around this idea of setting impossible goals. Setting impossible goals. Now, I know that sounds really like something that is impossible, right? But it's really important that you take a minute and you listen to what I'm saying here because it's going to reframe a little bit how you look at things and how you structure your life and your activities and your productivity. But first, let's, let's start with why your results aren't working. And, you know, I think that the results that most people are doing are not working because they're just trying to do more of what they're already doing. They're like, well, if I can grind harder, if I can work more, if I can get an extra job, if I can do more of what I'm doing, I can get more results. And that whole philosophy is flawed. That's 2x thinking. It's 2x thinking. So it really starts with your perception of what the strategy is you need to be using. And it starts, this whole concept of setting impossible goals and really 10x in your life starts with your perception of the past, present, and future. So I want you to follow, for, fo follow me for just a minute here. Um, you know that I always talk about the fact that your thoughts create your life, right? Your thoughts create your life. Well, if that's true, then your thoughts and your perceptions are key. And your thoughts and perceptions of the past, present, and future really are what drive your activities. They're what drive your actions. They're what drive you to do what you're doing. Now, of course, your story does and your beliefs do. We've talked about that, that the story that you have, that you're telling yourself of who you are and what your identity is and things like that, that does drive your, um, you know, drive your actions. But what I'm saying is at a more granular detail, your perception of the past, present, and future, how you approach your past, present, and future is really ultimately what's going to drive some results for you. So let me, let me just break something down for you that I learned. I learned this through um, you know, several different, you know, times and seasons in my life. It's a concept that Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy talk about in their new book, 10X is easier than 2X. Um, I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, right? 10X is easier than 2X. But as crazy as that sounds, when you really break it down, it will make sense to you. So I want you to really give me a minute and, and, and let's, let's talk through this for a second. So let's talk through past, present, and future. First, most people believe that the past shapes their present life, right? Let's think about that for a minute. You know, the fact that you got a divorce, the fact that you, you know, changed careers, the fact that you have a certain, you know, environment or upbringing or parenting. You believe, and most people believe, that their past, even if you think you're a positive personal development thinker, you believe that your past sort of shapes your present. And if, even if you don't think about it consciously, your past is creating your present moment. But research and science have shown us something totally different. And that is that the truth is that you do have the ability to have your present frame your past. 
Think about that for a second. Have your present frame your past. Your perception or filter you put on things that happened in your life, the perception and filter you put on things that happened in your life, that is what's going to frame whether that event in your life had significance, whether or not it was a positive or a negative. It's not the past itself that determines who you are. It's the frame and the filter you put on those events looking back. It's like Wayne Dyer says, when you look back on the tapestry of your life, right, the events take on new meaning. So if instead of being like most people where the past creates your, your current vision of your, your present, you start to begin to put a better filter on your past, the results is that your actions are going to change because your results right now are limited by your nature unless you frame your past differently. So that's the first most important. You've got to take your present moment and determine what your past was. Second, most people believe that your present moment, who you are, what you do, what you believe, all of your current you know, circumstances and identity actually determine your future result, what you can accomplish to get done in the future. But if you really want a 10x life, if you really want a 10x future, you've got to do the opposite. You've got to shape your current present activities by your huge, vivid vision of your future life, your future self. When you have a huge 10x vision of your future, yourself, who you are, what you're doing, this helps you to stretch way past your beliefs. And this changes the filter on what you do and how you act and what you're doing for activities. It's so important. It requires you, if you have a big, huge vision of the future and you're using that to determine your present activity, that'll, that requires you to eliminate a lot of what you're currently doing. See, think about that for a minute. Most of us, we look at our skills, we look at our talents, we look at our opportunities, we look at what it is we have available to us, and we determine where we can set our goals, how much further we can go, how much more money we can make, how much we can do to get our life 2x. But if you put your current present circumstances aside, set aside who you are, who you think your identity is and all of that, and you just think about what that 10x future is, just think about what that 10x future is, and you use that as the filter to determine what you're doing right now, well, a lot of things change. And this is the difference between the 2X and the 10X thinking. See, 2X says you can do more, twice as much of what you already do. And that, that means you're going to be doing the same activities. 10X, your 10X future says most of what you're doing is not going to get you there. Because if what you were doing was going to get you there, you'd already be making the progress, right? Like I asked you in the beginning. 10X says probably only 20% of what you're doing is going to get you there and you need to reinvent the other 80%. This is back to that 80-20 principle we've talked about, which is that 20%, and this is kind of a universal law that applies to a lot of things, but in business, 20% of the activities that you work on really create about 80% of the results, if you think about it, because you spend 80% of your time on things that really don't get you much results in your life. And this is the key to really growing. If you want a 10X life, you've got to create that vivid vision of that life and then structure your current present day activities around that. And that means you're probably going to have to get rid of about 80% of what you do. And this is difficult. This is hard. I mean, it's much harder when you don't have a vision of where you want to go. But ultimately, it's got to be done. So in order to drive you to your future vision, a big, impossible, huge vision, it's going to be very important for you to frame everything you do in the past differently. And it's going to involve you setting some impossible goals. The impossible goals is the key. That's why I'm bringing this up. Goals that maybe seem impossible, but they may not be impossible if you stretch. There are examples after examples after case studies of people that have proved otherwise. Look, if you search your life right now, there are probably many things you didn't think you could do. If you look at your past and you see how much you've grown, how much you've developed, the things you've made it through, you realize that you've probably had 10x experiences in your life already. But imagine if you were doing that proactively. Imagine if you were setting some wildly impossible goals and working everything in your current day to get you those goals, what the changes that you would you'd be able to accomplish. Remember, hitting, and think about this for a minute, just hitting a fraction 
of your 10x goals is going to get you further along than not hitting your subpar goals or even hitting some of your subpar goals. Um, you know, David Goggins talks about, I mentioned it a lot, most of us are only tapping about 40% of our ability. You've got to stretch way past that ability. And, and, and to be honest, the, it, it's faith and belief that requires you to just set some huge goals and then try to redefine who you are and where you're going. You've got to find ways to push yourself past your limits. And this involves asking better questions and asking questions. Is what you're doing right now getting you the results? Is what you're doing right now creating most of the, re, uh, most of the return? Because a funny thing happens when you set impossible goals. All of a sudden, your mind starts to look for ways for you to make that happen. It tries to look for ways for you to make that happen, and it pushes you outside your comfort zone. And I want you to know this. I believe that you can do this. I believe you can set impossible goals and 10x your life. I believe you can accomplish more in the next three months than you've done in the last three years. I believe you can do more in this month than you've done all year long so far. So remember, it doesn't matter what you've done up to this point. What matters is what you do going forward. I believe you have greatness. I think you have a lot of untapped potential. And I believe that it's never too late to start creating the life that you were meant to live. The one you want to live, the one you deserve to live, the one that is a 10x life. But you've got to start today. You've got to do different things to get different results. So that's my message for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it inspires you to do some things differently. Do me a favor and share this show. If you like the concepts we talked about, if you were inspired or motivated or learned anything, just do me a favor and share this with one person. Help us to be able to grow the show. And at the end of the day, I look forward to hearing from you. So hit me up on the Daily Mastermind on Instagram, Facebook, um, you know, YouTube, Twitter, you know, basically every social channel. And I look forward to hearing from you what you're working on and how you're doing. Once again, this is George Wright III. This has been the Daily Mastermind, and I appreciate you. Have a great day.